Yo guys, welcome back to a peaceful video. So this past weekend, there was an ADP-less tournament hosted by GazerBeam2K. And I ended up taking first place with Mad Party Dugong, of course, one of my favorite decks right now. And yeah, I ended up winning the tournament. And again, there was no ADP in the tournament, but also there was no Zacian or Return to Sloud in the tournament either. But the big thing, obviously, you want to take away from all that is there's just no ADP. And when there's no ADP, a lot of creative decks get to shine. That's why I played Mad Party, because Mad Party, without an ADP being in the format, it the deck I feel like is really good. And as it proved, I went 7-0, and ended up winning the entire tournament, didn't lose once with his Mad Party deck. I just feel like Mad Party is just really good in a format without ADP. A lot of fun. And again, there was a lot of creative decks being used. Um, I ended up playing against, you know, the Tord Mewtwo deck. There was a Gardevoir VMAX deck that did pretty well, too. I think Gardevoir VMAX made top four, I'm pretty sure. So it was a really unique tournament because just without ADP, people can play weird stuff and it can shine because ADP is not a thing to worry about. Uh, feels pretty good to uh, win a tournament, finally. Um, so yeah, before we get the video, guys, go to the sponsor card, having TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, get them over there. Now, when Viv Voltage comes out in a few days, guys, make sure to get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin will be selling Viv Voltage codes for the cheapest on the market. So if you guys are still looking to pick up any other codes too, get them over at Card Cabin. But if you guys are still looking for Viv Viv Vivid Voltage codes, holy crap, that's a tongue twister. Get them over at Card Cabin TCG. Um, and of course, guys, Car Kevin does have the, they'll have the Vivid Voltage theme decks, the pre-release kit codes, all over at Car Kevin TCG for Vivid Voltage. If you get any codes over at Car Kevin, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. It really supports the channel, helps yourself out, and helps out Car Kevin too. So shout out to Car Kevin TCG, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this Mad Party deck. So pretty similar list to like what Azul won with. Um, the only thing I changed about the deck going into this tournament was I actually threw in a Chaotic Swell over a Coughing. So I took out Coughing and I threw in a Swell. And I feel like the Swell was really relevant because, one, I figured, well, having a Counter Stadium is just really good with this deck in general. There's going to be times where, like, you want to stop Power Plan, you want to stop Giant Hearth. But I also figured stuff like Black Market and Wonders Labyrinth might be popular. I feel like people would be playing more weirder Rogue decks, so those stadiums might have seen more play. So I was like, alright, we're playing a Chaotic Swell. Um, but yeah, other than that, the list is pretty much the same. We got the Roxy, the Research, the Denny, the Eldegoss. Everything stayed at the same. Um, so my matchups were like this. So I think round one, I ended up playing against a Pika Rom deck. I ended up beating the Pika Rom deck. Um, round two was against Colossal Box, which I ended up beating. Um, and then round three was against Aeropod, which was kind of scary at first, but uh, I was able to stop them. Uh, I prized Dugong in this game, and I really wanted to use Dugong in this matchup, but I prized it. With the Dugong, we been really good knock out their Jirachis and their unidentified fossils, but I prized it. Round 4 was either against it was either against the Tord Mewtwo deck or it was against Trevnor Mewtwo uh, with Rotom. I think it was the Trevnor deck. The Trevnor deck got a little hairy at the end, but I think after their last Nightwatch they did, I still drew out of it, and I was able to boss up the uh, thing to win the game. Their big mistake was putting a Mewtwo in play. I was able to knock out the Mewtwo with Poltegeist. Mewtwo is actually pretty popular in this tournament, too. So that was another reason why I like playing this deck, because Pulte Guys hits Mewtwo for weakness. And I ended up playing against the Tord Mewtwo deck. This deck didn't play Jirachi at all, so, you know, another straightforward win. You know, it's just weak to Psychic. Uh, round 6 and 7 were both against Cash Man, who was playing Centiscorch. Um, the first round was a bit scary. Um, I think I ended up drawing really poorly for the first few turns, but I ended up getting things going. And thanks to Mew protecting my bench from Cramorant, I ended up taking home the dub against Cash. And then I made it to the finals, and I played against Cash again because Cash went to the lose bracket. This tournament was a uh, double elimination tournament, so you lose a game, you go to lose bracket, and then you have to try to win in the lose bracket to get back in the winner's bracket. Um, so Cash made it all the way to the finals again, so me and Cash battled again, and I ended up donking him with Bunnelby. Now, the only thing with this tournament, it was not best of three in the finals, it was just a best of one, um, which going forward, I think things should be best of three, but I got lucky it was a best of one. I just, I ended up donking Cash, I made him go first, he had a Volcanion, didn't mention anything, and I ended up just donking him with a Bunnelby. Um, and I ended up winning the whole tournament with Mad Party, um, I, again, I just think Mad Party is just a really good deck in these, uh, formats without ADP. Um, and I guess, like, the Zacian, you know, not having Zacian and was okay, too. Although I do think Mad Party can beat a Turntus still. It's not that bad of a matchup. But, yeah, just not having ADP in the format, it just means Mad Party can win. So, like, every one of these ADP-less tournaments that end up popping up, I'm gonna play Mad Party if I enter, because it's just, like, it's such an easy deck in the format to win with, because there's no ADP to worry about. And I feel like this deck can trade really well against, um, those two prize VMAX decks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll link Gazerbeam 2K's Twitch down below. Check it out. Hop into his next stream. And, uh, when he does end up doing another one of these tournaments, you can hop into it. I'm probably gonna be in that tournament too, so you guys maybe could battle me at some point. So yeah, check it out. I'll link it down below. Shout out to Gazerbeam 2K for hosting the tournament. It was a lot of fun. 
really enjoyed playing Mad Party. And speaking of which, we're going to show off some games of this deck here on PCGO, play some Mad Party, and uh, show off the deck again, I guess. All right, guys, getting the first match. And technically, if we don't play against Zacian, ADP, or Eternatus, we technically are going to just play against, you know, things you could have ran into in that tournament. So I guess that kind of shows off this deck in that format. All right, so we won the coin flip. We always want to make our opponent go first when we're playing Mad Party because we want to be able to do a turn one attack. Not with this hand, though. I did have one game against... Um, I did have one game where I started with Adena. I think most of my starting hands were actually not bad, except when I played against Cash the one time. I had a bit of a slow start, but I was able to get things rolling. And once I got the Mew down, he couldn't take two prizes. Um, but yeah, starting with Adena is not good. That's one of the problems with taking out the coughing. This is one more odd than starting with Adena or Eldegoss. Well, Eldegoss isn't that bad. You can always do float up. But opening a Dedenne is never good. Our opening hand is kind of weak too. I mean, we can Roxy, I guess. We'll see how this goes. Um, I do play one air balloon, but only one instead of two. A two air balloon, you know, I don't really think two air balloons needed, but one can work. Search the Giratina. Let's see what this is. If it's Dragapult VMAX, we can't really beat that. Um, I think there was a Dragapult deck that was actually doing pretty well in the tournament. Uh, I think it ended up losing though, so I got pretty lucky there. I probably wouldn't have been able to take down the Dragapult deck. Because um, Dragapult, you know, it's not easy to beat. All right, Psychic, so it's definitely a Dragapult deck, but they pass. All right. We might be able to donk him here. So we can go Quick Ball. Let's see if we even have the Air Balloon in the deck. Yeah, the Air Balloon's there. We have all of our energy too. We prize. I don't think we prize much that's important. We could do a bunch of Quick Balls here. We actually could just get the. No, I was going to get that. I was thinking about getting Bunnelby, but then I don't have enough Roxy Pokemon. Well, Roxy here. We get Air Balloon, Bunnelby. I don't think we'll be able to donk him, though. Oh, we actually got the Air Balloon. Oh, we're going to get the Bunnelby, though. That's a shame. We wouldn't have won the game either way, so I think it's fine. Um, I think we'll twin here. Play the Air Balloon and pass. I don't know. Hopefully, we don't get hit with a uh, Tool Scrapper. But uh, we can move the Dedenne here next turn. Go into the Poltegeist, hopefully. Oh, they have hammers. They get tails. It's definitely a Dragapult deck. Yeah, it's definitely Dragapult. I mean, I get we can beat Dragapult, to be honest. It's not like... It's hard, but it's not like... I don't know. It's... I don't know. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to do Roxy again. But if we can, like, two-shot the Polt, I'm feeling pretty good. Well, they might not even get... They didn't even get energy down. All right, that, like, seals the deal. Uh, we'll go for the Roxy here, I think. Not sure we're going to be able to knock out this Dragapult, but I want to get Roxy try to get into the Poltegeist here. If it's possible, we do get it. Nice. We didn't get any other Pokemon, though, which is actually a bit of a worry. That could be bad, but they can't... Uh, we're not weak to Psychic, so they can't knock me out. So I guess it doesn't matter, right? They can't... They can't go for... Uh, they can't go for Dragapult's attack just yet. Okay. Can't find any more... Uh, pokemon to use to attack that's a little unfortunate we can smack him with mad party for i think 120 here and uh if we get two shot the dragapult i'm feeling good even if they get a v max down they knock me out with shred uh we can still smack him with bundle b our hand is still good we can like roxy here kind of annoying i have all my researches because you know i would like to not get marnie done, but he's still another dedene but uh we can go roxy here feels good Oh, wait, another reason why I put the Swell in the deck. Oh, we didn't have the VMAX. Oh, that's a wrap. The, reason I other, the other reason why I put the Swell in the deck is because I wanted to have access to... Um, the Swell was really good at countering Power Plant, which is another counter to this deck. Power Plant countered this deck pretty well. All right, so let's go Roxy here. don't really think I need the Weavings, but we'll play it anyways. Just keep dumping Mad Partiers. All right, there's a Bunnelby. Luckily, we're not getting knocked out either by uh, the pull the thing. We're not getting knocked out by the uh, thing. I guess we could have quick balled actually for another uh, Pokemon there. We're not getting knocked out by the horror energy, which is good. All right, there's another Bunnelby. Good prize. Is that another good prize? That is not a good prize. We don't really need the Dugong here. Yeah, still got the Dugong in the deck. I mean, Baby Blounds was a potential, and they really won a game. Easy peasy. See, you start with the Dene, you can still make things happen. Technically, I may know what the deck right now, if you think about it. All right, guys, get into another match here. I'm going to go for Tails here on the coin flip. Totodile, how could you? All right, let's see if they go first. Nope. 
Probably playing ADP then. All right, we uh, get a Bunnelby start. Okay, not a bad hand, actually. I'll take it. We'll start with the Bunnelby. Um, yeah, it's got to hope he's not playing ADP. Oh, the mirror match. And we get the get the seal top deck. It's kind of hilarious. All right, I'm going to quick ball here for a uh, Sinus T. Um, we do have Mew in the deck. We might need that in this matchup. I mean, to be fair, we could have maybe held off on Benching the Seal, but we, we're going to be dead at changing next turn, so we kind of have to play the Seal. But this is actually pretty good. We have a really good start. They probably will knock out my poor Bunnelby, but then we go Dugong, and then we can knock out two Pokemon. So that's another thing why I like the Dugong. It's like all these, like, low HP decks that you run into other than, you know, them itself. Oh, they don't have the Dugong. They got the Crobat Great Catcher. All right, so, yeah, Dugong's going to pop off here. This is really good. It might actually be good to knock out the two Sinisties. I really hope they don't match a Mew here. Yeah, I'm tempted to knock out the Sinisties. They actually don't have a... Oh, they do have a knockout. They have a Twin Energy. Never mind. <laughs> they got rid of two Mad Partiers. Yeah, I think we knock out the Sinisties here. If we knock out the Bunnelby, they might knock it. Like, Dugong can honestly take two prizes. Oh, they don't even knock me out. Okay. Um, do the research. I think we play it, so we don't have to play to Dene. Bench the Pultigeist. I guess we could have gotten rid of a Rhyme there, but I want to make sure we get the Pultigeist in play. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to get the double Dugong Snipe here. Yeah. We can tea break and then we can calm, I guess, for another synesty. Okay, there's the uh, energy we need. Yeah, we get another synesty here. Could get Guru too. I don't think they play Marnie. We do have the swell. We have one air balloon. We did prize. We priced a triple. If we get triple out the prizes here. That's going to be pretty nice. So we can uh, do the Dugong play next turn. Getting the first prize is always relevant too. We got Eldegoss? Uh, I'll take it, I guess. I'm probably going to do. Uh, we're going to research again though. All right, let's see if they can knock me out here. They need a, they need a triple energy to kill me. But yeah, Dugong just makes this matchup really easy for us. We can knock out both their Sinisties. They did get the balloon on the uh, Guru. Uh, but I just still think taking two prizes with Dual Blizzard is still like insanely good. There's Tea Break. Gets rid of a... Gets rid of a Dedene. Uh, maybe I do Mad Par... Maybe I do Roxy here. I don't know. I don't really want to lose this boss. Because they, they bench a Crow Batter. Well, I guess we have a... Eh. Honestly, if I can get a Ranguru down, I'll save the Eldegoss, so yeah. I'm hoping we can get a Ranguru here. I'm definitely going to promote the Dugong. If we whip the triple energy, it's going to be pretty annoying. But I have confidence that we won't. Unless they bench a Mew. They bench a Mew, I'll uh, bring in the Poltegeist. And maybe we can try to boss up the Mew, knock it out if we can draw an energy. I'm definitely going to promote the Dugong, though. Wait, or an Aerod? Okay, they're going to do 10 less damage, or 20 less damage. I guess it doesn't matter in the long run for them, but still. That's good for us. Ooh, are they going to play the Dedenne? Yep, they're going to Dedenne. Wait, why would, why, why would they not go Crobat? They should have put the Crobat back. Wait, they didn't even put the Crobat back? Wait, what? They don't even have... They still have a knockout. I don't understand that logic. Why would they not put the Crobat back? They should have benched Crobat instead of Dedenne because Crobat has more HP. And Dedenne's better off when you have to discard cards from your hand. I That, they know, that play made no sense. <laughs> what? All right. Good thing for them. They hit a good hand because if we had a, anything else in the active, they would have knocked me out. All right. If we whip triple energy, I'm going to cry, because that's going to really suck. Had to be the twin energy. I can, maybe doing Roxy there actually would have been pretty good. I don't know. Um, We still have Air Balloon to move. It's not the end of the world if we do whiff. All right, T-Break, come on one time. All right, we'll put that on. I have the research here. All right, we got the triple. We got the guru too, which is good. What are we looking at here? We get more T's. All right, we'll play the triple. Uh, we don't really need to bench any more Sinister T's, so I'm just going to put the Roxy on top of the deck. I'm just going to go for the dual blizzard. We're going to knock out the Sinister T and the Pulte guys. That's why Dugong is busted. Look at that. We just got a two prize lead. And that is how you do it. That's why Dugong is so good. So, so good. Dugong, the most busted tech card in Mad Party. The best tech card in Mad Party. Dugong's rotating, right? Yeah, it's going to be rotating next set, so that kind of sucks. Or not next set, next format. So Mad, Mad, Mad Party's going to have to adjust with the Dugong. Honestly, if they don't get a knockout here, which is okay, they probably will, right? Yeah, they have enough Mad Partiers. Um, I don't know. If they somehow don't have an energy, that'd be great. We can, like, take another dual Blizzard, but... We got. We did what we needed to do. A lot of the time, Dugong really only takes the two prizes because it, you know, won't take a hit a lot of the time. So it usually gets you two prizes. That's its goal. 
and it paid off. It just really helps in these non-GX prize trades where you need to take an, a couple extra prizes to catch up. And the fact that we're not gonna, we're gonna try to not mention Dene or Norcorio this, or, or Dene and Eldegoss the entire game, we can literally just flawlessly go straight through this match and just win without having to mention two prizes. And that's how we win the game. And we get a huge prize lead with Dugong. They're actually gonna let me take two more prizes with Dugong. Okay, uh, why would they not knock out the Dugong? I actually, unless they have a reset team, I don't get that. Yeah, I actually don't get why they did that. <laughs> Um, all right, we're just going to keep saving Roxy, I guess. I'm just going to dual blizzard. Yeah, I don't really get that logic. Now I'm not going to bundle bees, sure. All right, thank you for letting my Dugong just sweep your board and take four prizes. I, why would they do that? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? If they do another boss here, I'm going to laugh because, oh, we got two energy. That's huge. Yeah, no, why would they knock out the Pulte guys? They should have knocked out the Dugong. Literally now it's like impossible for us to lose unless they reset Stampus to one. Uh, but I have so many outs left. I still have Tea Break. I still have Guru. I have a lot of ball searches for Dedene. They should have dealt with the Dugong. See, when you don't deal with the Dugong, you're playing these low HP decks. You kind of lose because Dugong just, it takes so many prizes. Now we just win. <laughs> that is just, I, that, the weird logic this game. I don't know my, if my opponent knew what they were doing. But yeah, we're just gonna knock him out. And win the game, thanks to Dugong, just completely bodying them. That's another reason why I like the Dugong. It's so good in the mirror match, too. Like, it's just good against these non-GX, like, low HP decks. Like, Decidueye, Obstagoon, Jirachi, Mad Party, Porygon. Just, you know, low HP Pokemon that'll be in play. All right, guys, get another match here. My boy's got a Baby Trio coin. I didn't even know there's a Baby Trio coin. I mean, promo Baby Trio has been released. Uh, we do start with the Seal. We're up against a Wilder deck. The Seal is really good. Unfortunately, our open hand is a little weak. We'll have to see if we can get another Pokemon or Roxy here. Looks like we hit a Pika deck. Pika is a matchup we can beat. Um, it's as long as they don't tag Bolt us, this matchup's fine. Bolt Hunt also kind of gives us a bit of a headache sometimes, but overall, it's not that bad of a matchup. All right, there's the Roxy play. All right, we'll Quick Ball for... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the Sinistee. I think, I mean, we don't really even need Dugong technically in this matchup. So I'm just going to bench Sinistee. I'll probably, I don't know. I'll probably do Pulte Guys next turn. We'll see how things go. There's a Quick Ball, gets rid of Vikavolt. That's a good card to see gone. Vikavolt's a little annoying because we do have, you know, we have a lot of items in this deck. So there's a Bolt Hunt. Bolt Hunt's like, I think the biggest threat in the matchup here is because they can attack early on with this. And it probably takes two hits to knock this thing out. Um, so sometimes it can put us back a little bit, but overall this matchup is still pretty winnable I did beat a Pika deck in the first round. So it's like it's a game we can beat um, As long as we don't prize Mew like this matchup's fine. Ooh, they don't even get the electrify off. That's huge All right, I'll lose two pull together. We have two to work with that's fine. The more damage is Mario. Let's try to get Dugong here one time Okay, uh, we'll see if we can great ball for a pull together Dugong and then we can do things we didn't get one we have another Roxy. I'll take BZ then. Now right, we'll just calm away the Dedene or the Pulte or the Dugong. I actually probably would rather Dugong a Pikaram, but we have two energy anyways, so we can probably do another Dual Blizzard next turn. So let's just go Dual Blizzard here. And that six damage is relevant. Now this thing only has 140 HP, which means we only need to do seven Mad Partiers, which is probably possible. So Dugong puts in work. Next turn, if they bench a if they bench a Pika next turn or a Raichu, I'm gonna snipe it also. Okay, there's a Marnie. That's fine. There goes our energy though, so that kind of sucks. Let's see what we're looking at here. Can we get a better hand? There's a okay. We could probably actually we could probably just discard three Mad Partiers here if everything goes well. Quick Ball. Yeah, Dugong might be stuck in the active for a turn. That's fine. We do have our Air Balloon though. Like I I honestly wouldn't mind playing two Air Balloons in this deck because Air Balloon is really good at retreating the Dugong and stuff. So I wouldn't mind maybe playing a second Air Balloon in this deck, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. So if we can get a Triple Energy next turn, we can get this Pika Rom down. Well, I'll be damned. We top deck it. All right, this is really good. Uh, Bunnel Bee Guru. We'll take the Guru. And right, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to Evo Incense with the Poltegeist. Uh, I don't need to play the Guru here. I don't really care for the Quick Ball, so we're just going to research. All right, more Mad Partiers. So let's bench this. We do have the Mew in our hand. I might bench it, to be honest with you. And they might boss knock it out. I actually probably shouldn't do that. Um, what's Primate Wisdom? 
Um, we can quick ball here, but then we won't have the research. I think we just keep our hand and then we just go for the dual blizzard snipe. We could hit the Crobat, actually. If we get another dual blizzard next turn, we can knock it out. I doubt that'll happen, though. I think we just want to make sure we damage this. And actually, the Bolton, they're probably going to take my Bolton anyway. So I think we just get that Bolton softened up. The Pika's got 180 HP, which is, you know, easier to knock out. Unfortunately, we only have eight Pokemon, but next turn we can pop off if we go hard. That's why I like the Dugong. We're just able to set up this Pika ROM to be KO'd a lot easier now. Because 240 damage is still not hard to do with Mad Party, but at this state in the game, it's too early to really, you know, amass too much damage. So it's actually better to just get 60 damage on. Make it 180 damage. Like, by the time we knock out this Bolt Hunt, we're probably going to be able to KO the Pika. And then we just got a boss of Crobat to win the game. Like, it's not too hard. I We definitely promote the Bunnel Bee. We have more energy for Pulte. I think we just promote the Bunnel Bee. We can do so much here. This is an insane hand. This is really good. We're just going to Roxy. We just need an energy. There we go. Ooh, we got a ton of energy. Uh, tea break with the Dedene. Okay, perfect. I was looking for another Poltergeist. Um, play Great Ball. Uh, actually, I'm not going to take that because if we get Marnie, I want to be able to Roxy. How much are we doing? We're doing a lot. Um, we can get rid of one more Bunnelby, I guess. I mean, Bunnelby will help us reach the peak of math. I think now we'll put the Mew down. Yeah, we'll bench the Mew now. I don't think they'll tag bolt me, obviously, but I'm still going to do it anyways. All right, one six. So once they knock out Bunnelby, we can one shot their Pika. We, I think we have a Mad Party prize. There's a okay that can get us from Mr. Rhyme. Then yeah, they're, okay. So we literally knock them out next turn if they even if they no knock me out. I might have benched me a little early, but because we don't have the Denny down, I don't really mind tag bolt even if they do get it. I got this stage in the game. We're pretty good. Honestly, one of their better plays could have been to possibly attack me with Bolt Hunt again, which they could have done. They could have possibly went Bolt Hunt here. So it might have been better to go Bolt Hunt because we're going to knock out their Pika. We're going to knock, take three prizes. And then all we have to do is knock out something else on the bench. Like this game is pretty much wrapped up. Unless, well, they could stamp us. Nope, the full blitz. They don't even have a supporter or anything. All right. Yeah, again, Pika, pretty straightforward matchup. Um, the Dugong is good in this matchup too. This is one of the matches where Dugong can shine because of that, the relevant damage on the Bolt Hunt and whatnot. We're just going to promote the bunny. Just going to tea break. Away the Dedene. Do this. We do have a knockout, so all we care for. 180 damage. Thanks to the Dugong. Or 200 damage. We wouldn't have been able to knock that out without Dugong, so you'll love to see it. Now we pretty much just win unless we get stamped. But even if we do, we have two Pulte guys to draw. We have Dedenes. We have Eldegoss. We have. Like, stamp to one probably won't work. Like, I think every card in our deck is literally something we can use other than the air balloon. Yeah, literally every card in our deck we can play if we get stamped to one here. That's actually kind of funny. It's like pretty much every card, right? Energy to attack, to win the game, you know. Air Balloon's the only card I can think of that if we get it, we can't play it right away. All right, that's game. They're just going to knock out my bunny. And yeah, we took down Pika. And I'm going to wrap the video here, guys, after this quick little game here against Pika. And again, Pika Rom, it's one of your better matchups for sure. If everything goes well, this matchup is pretty straightforward and easy. We can even boss up the Crobat that we damaged with Dugong a little bit earlier and just knock it out. But yeah, that'll be uh, that with uh, the Dugong Man Party deck. And that is how I ended up winning the tournament with this deck. The ADP less tournament, it's good. Now, if Eternus was legal or Zacian was legal, it might have been a little bit different. But I mean, overall, this deck, it, Mad Party, I think can be a really good deck without ADP. Like ADP just stops Mad Party from really being able to shine at its full potential but because i was in an adp list tournament mad party can sweep the competition like mad party is just so good against vmax and tag team decks because the prize trade is just so well in your favor because you're doing so much damage um and honestly if, if the deck plays well enough you can really win games without having to bench the dene or eldegoss and that's how you do it um that'll be it for the video guys on the deck hope you guys enjoyed um Again, I will link Gazer Beam 2K's Twitch down below. Make sure to check it out when he live streams. And again, he will probably do another one of these ADP list tournaments very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that because I'll probably be participating in it. Hopefully, we can take another dub. We'll have to find out. It uh, depends on what I want to play. If I want to play Man Party again or if I switch over to a different tech. But yes, 
feels good to win a tournament with Mad Party. An ADP list tournament dub with Mad Party. You love to see it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Um, I will say, um, Vivid Voltage comes out Thursday, right? So it's going up on a Tuesday. So, there's, so I got Wednesday and Thursday's video to do. So I'm gonna post a legacy video before Vivid Voltage comes out, and then I'm gonna probably have another video. Um, so keep your eye out for a legacy video very soon. Also, in a couple days, whenever you know Thursday or Wednesday, whatever day I feel like making a legacy video, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled because there will be some legacy content on the channel soon. Once again, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. Check out Car Kevin TCG down below. If you get any codes over there, use code LDF again. When Vivid Voltage goes live over at Car Kevin, they will probably be selling the codes for the cheapest on the online market. So make sure to use code LDF if you get any codes over at Car Kevin. Whatever Vivid Voltage stuff you're going to be picking up, make sure you get them over at Car Kevin. Use code LDF at your at the checkout. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Follow me on Twitter down below. Check out my Patreon. Uh, I just posted a tier list over on my Patreon of the best Voltage cards. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.